What to the American slave is your 4th of July? I answer, a day that reveals to him more than all other days of the year the gross injustice and cruelty to which he is a constant victim. To him, your celebration is a sham. Your boasted liberty, an unholy license. Your national greatness, swelling vanity. Your sounds of rejoicing are empty and heartless. Your denunciation of tyrants, brass-fronted impudence. Your shouts of liberty and equality, hollow mockery. Your prayers and hymns, your sermons and thanksgivings, with all your religious parade and solemnity, are to him mere bombast, fraud, deception, impiety, and hypocrisy. A thin veil to cover up crimes that would, it, that would disgrace a nation of savages. There's not a nation of the earth guilty of practices more shocking and bloody than are the people of these United States at this very hour. Exactly. American slaves, so-called black people. What does the 4th of July have to do with you? July 4th, 1776, America declared their independence their independence you were still in the cotton fields picking cotton picking sugar canes corn getting raped getting beat getting murdered getting butt break all that was still going on you were still a slave so how in the world is you celebrating the fourth of july independence day and if we could fast forward to abraham lincoln when he signed the declaration emancipation of proclamation that was until 1863, where he so-called, so-called abolished slavery, which we know we are yet still here in our captivity and we are still slaves and a, a, a slavery was never abolished. But that's my point. How in the hell is you celebrating the 4th of July when you was very much still in captivity? Emancipation Proclamation didn't come till almost 700 years later. And by that time, they had very well trained your mind. That's just like you don't let a dog off the chain or off the leash until you have trained them. Okay, 700 years later, very well trained. The mind is very much destroyed. So yeah, now we can so-called abolish slavery because we've already done the damage to your mind. Come on, my people, we gotta wake up. In Acts 17 and 30, it says, in a time of your ignorance, God winked at, but now calling all men to repent. We got to repent of our ignorance and follow in the ways of these heathens and their customs. Return back to the Most High and keep his law, statutes, and commandments. Shalom.